say. The past has been slow and steady, I would say, but it's beginning to pick up now. In Kenya, because you've got a good base in technology and technology skills here, I think it's going to, you've, you've got the capability to grow with people, local people. Given that, the other things I was saying about the drive-in manufacturing, um, where it's hidden. People seem to, when you read it, think that manufacturing is getting less in, in, sorry, in Kenya, but it isn't. It's growing each year. I think you grew 10%. Your, your number built of billions of shillings or millions of shillings, it actually grew about 10%. But in percentage contribution to GDP, it went down. And now you've got a lot of the Kenya Association of Manufacturers with luck. The president, he says he's there. Let's hope he acts on it and supports them. You've got the right technological base. You've got all the right companies here. I think it will grow quite nicely this year. Hence, that's why we're here now, is because we see this as a far better market for growth than some of the other markets, even our own in South, I mean, we're a global company, but I'm based in South Africa. This is a bigger market, not a bigger market, but it's a faster growing market. And in the software business, it's like the golden goose that keeps giving you pay every year for software. So this is a good market and it'll grow. And you need it, you need to improve your manufacturing. The last thing that, uh, again, William Ruto said was you've got to get export. And to get export, you've got to be competitive. To be competitive, you've got to get your costs down. To get your costs down, you have to automate some processes and get more through the same process. So all of those things lead to the software business going up in Kenya. A nice question. I know it's not good to say nice question, but really it's not usually the technology. And everyone thinks it fails because of the technology. So there's a thing that uh, you would say there's always three somethings. So the three somethings in IT are, before you put IT in, you have to make sure you've got the right business processes. So your procurement processes make sense. They do the right things. They've got the right approvals. They don't restrict you from doing business. So you need like, people would say best practices, but at least good practices. So that's business processes. Many companies don't scope that properly. Many companies just say, I want to do what I've always done. That's a mistake. Not as much now as they used to, but if you're going to put an IT system into your company, it's like open heart surgery, so ERP especially. So um, you have to make sure your business process is a good opportunity to refine or improve or optimize your business processes. That's the first thing. Then your people need to be on board and they need to be skilled. So they need to be the right type of people. If they're not quite ready for it, then you've got quite a lot of training and change management to do on the people side to say this is a new thing and that gets killed by the people who say well let's increase our productivity and then we'll sack you all. That's not going to make anybody happy. So you've got to bring people along, even the people not involved in the project, you need to have some sort of community, uh, company communication that explains that this is a good thing and this is for everybody, it's not, you're not all going to lose your jobs, that type of thing. So it's processes, people, and then it's how you put the technology and it goes to which partner, which software and all that sort of stuff. So typically the software works, so the technology works. The trick is the application of technology requires proper processes and people and the right partners. So it's more about the processes and the people and the way you implement it, not so much the technology.